right in the middle of a rainforest here, uh, uh, near the top of Mount Tambourine, and um, so obviously experience high levels of rainfall regularly. So can you tell me what steps and preventative measures um, you've taken in the design and the layout of the land to accommodate the high levels of rainfall? Um, we've put um, in pipes and um, little ridges of soil, which it just directs the um, water off the garden, it doesn't wash it out, okay. and it's worked. And um, there's a pipe up there that um, we spent a few weeks on, and it's got all the it takes all the water that runs off the driveway out into the trees. Um, an ag pipe is like a little a black pipe with rib like sort of ribs around it, and it's got holes in it, and it just lets all the water in and filters the dirt so it's just water off and it carries it off to wherever the end is. And um, it has to be quite deep so you can get heaps of it, it hits the water in the pipe. So Mike, I was working with you a bit today on some of the beds over there. Can you tell us a bit about the design of those and how they help with the uh, with the rain flow? Um, what we do is we dig it, dig the well that we call them trenches. We dig yep. them up on top of the beds, yep. which helps um, get the seedlings and all seeds up out of the water, mm -hmm. and, that, yeah, and that just flows off down the sides of the beds. And uh, I heard there was some um, some heavy rain a couple of years ago. Um, how does it, how does the damage this time around compare to that? Um, we we'll we haven't had this much rain for a while, as you've probably heard in the news. Yep. And um, yeah, well, the damage before all this ridges and um, pipes have gone in. That yeah. It's helped Here we more. have bananas, which have soaked up all the water. The main reason we use them is to soak up the water. We get a few bananas here and there. Okay, so I've been up on Mount Tambourine now for a couple of weeks and I've seen the footage of the um, the floods in Brisbane and the surrounding areas and all the damage that's occurred. And it's amazed me how relatively little damage has occurred up here. And a lot of the reason for that is down to the planning which is put in on Mount Tambourine up on um, uh, Bev and Jeff's farm here. But they have channeling systems which takes the water and drains it away into the tree areas and uh, also down into the creeks which helps prevent damage and soil erosion up here. Yeah. So what I've drawn from this is that natural disasters are in fact man-made disasters in a sense because people haven't taken the necessary, necessary precautions to deal with the heavy rain which is a feature of this area specifically and is likely to happen now and again down on the lower levels.